would you describe last night's dive and what did it look like? Last night's dive was absolutely amazing. Uh, there was um, just the anticipation of, of the event going off and there's a little bit of worry because we've heard of reports going off the night before, had we missed it, had we not. But very, very quickly, we actually started seeing coral spawn in the water. These tiny, tiny little mauvey pink balls slowly floating up, almost like a snowflake floating on air, but going up. It was the opposite. And then we're finding all these beautiful coral colonies just laden with these little parcels of sperm and egg. And just watching them for 20, 30 minutes, then all of a sudden they just erupt, kind of like a, a smokestack going up, but I've just I've made up of tiny pink balls drifting up to the, the surface. It was an amazing evening in the dive. So what is coral spawning? Coral spawning is actually the sexual reproduction of corals. Corals are an amazing little animal. They're actually a jellyfish style animal that for most of their life actually grow by asexual reproduction. That means they split in two and they split in four and so on. But once a year, a few nights after the full moon, they actually want to get genetic variability. So they actually create sperm and egg and they release that into the water column and hope that sperm and egg meets. So it's their equivalent of sexual reproduction. How special is this event on a world scale? Oh, it's hard to put into words. The Great Barrier Reef itself is such a unique ecosystem. There are coral reefs all around the world, but there's none the magnitude and complexity as we have on the Great Barrier Reef. So to have it actually spawn, and other coral reefs do spawn, it's still a unique event. So for me, the best way to explain it, there's nothing else like it on the planet. Yes, other coral reefs do spawn at different times of years, but the fact that it's the biggest coral reef on the planet reproducing, it means it's the largest sexual event on the planet. So on a world scale, it's absolutely significant and phenomenal. How important is it to see tourists back on the Great Barrier Reef after the past 18 months? Seeing tourists back on the Great Barrier Reef is absolutely amazing. First of all, everyone who's been affected by the COVID globally needs that opportunity to have a break and the best way to do that is to connect with an environment. What better way and what best environment to connect with is the Great Barrier Reef. We all need that mental health relief and coming out to the Great Barrier Reef is just fantastic. On the other hand, having tourists come out, it helps sustain our tourism industry, who's a significant partner in actually looking after, monitoring, protecting the Great Barrier Reef, as well as educating the world about why it's so important to do it. So all around, having tourists back here, it's fabulous for the tourists because we need and we deserve that break, but it's also fabulous for the reef because we can actually continue our support in a management and monitoring perspective. Yeah.